right, guys, we're going to be doing the histogram now. And the erase and hashes. What we'll be building. This is an example, I guess. Um, as always, it's going to ask us to kind of work our way through and see if we know what's going on here. So this is going to print text, please. We're going to get our text. It's then going to split it based off spaces. Frequencies, we're going to create a new hash at zero. With z hmm. new zero, starting at zero, maybe. Um, then we're going to see. All right, let's just see what it does. Text, please. Dylan he is cool. Cool one is one Dylan one. Okay. So this counts how many times it does, I believe. So let's reset the code. Try it one more time. So Dylan, Dylan is 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 cool. Okay. It is just counts three Dylan twice cool once. Okay. So. work our way through this. Alright, so we're going to put uh, enter some text space I guess we're going to do it fancy like. Alright, and we'll say text equals gets.chomp and save and submit. I'll say Dylan cool. Next, we're going to declare a variable called words instead of equal to the result of dot split on text. All right, so remember, uh, declare the words is equal to text dot split, and then it doesn't actually say what to do it here, but I'm guess let's see if this works without. Okay, so. Uh, I guess it just splits everything. Alright, this is uh, where we need to use hashes. Start words using hash. Alright. Create a hash called frequencies in the editor and give it a value of 1. Alright, so we'll say hash equals hash dot new we'll give it a value of zero and that should work just fine um, maybe you might want to come with a better oh we needed to call it frequencies right. um, it's probably better that way rather than having to uh, create something a hash lowercase when just uppercase is a already a keyword. All right, so let's see here. So it wants us to iterate over the words array using dot each. So we get words dot each. For each we find, assume that the word itself is key, is a key and frequency. All right. Let's see a little hang because I don't. We're going to go back to example one because I don't know words that each. Alright. Alright, so. Let's see here. So assume that the word itself is a key in frequencies. So frequencies word and increment its value by one. Let's see here. We gotta go back to them. I'm a little confused myself. All right. So plus or equal to one. So this is our key. This is our value. 
Now we increment it by one. Okay. All right. So there's the key or the the values rather. So for words, then we take the frequencies. Words plus equal one. All right. Hashes have always been a little weird for me. I don't really use them too much. I, there's a uh, lot other things I would use instead of them. All right. Use dot sort underscore by. All right. So sort by. Color and count. Hmm. Alright, so sort by is built in. In this example, we have a hash called colors that maps color strings to numbers and then it sorts through the colors. Okay. So in this case, we want to sort the frequencies. Alright, so we'll say frequencies is equal to frequencies dot sort by and then we want it to sort by two things. It has its key and it has its value. So, just as in here, it's uh, color and count. Um, we'll use name, common number. And let's see if that will work for us. And then. I believe we may have to end it. Right? Yeah, we have to end. And then we'll do free quincies dot reverse. That should reverse it. Let's see here. Dylan cool guy. Guy cool Dylan. See? So it reverse it back into frequencies. Alright, cool. It's a little bit tricky, but um Sure, as we get to I'm sure, as we get uh, more familiar with it, it'll seem a little more natural. All right, so here we're going to be iterating over the hash um, with a do loop by the look of it. Did we skip one? I feel like we skipped one. No, I guess not. Alright. Iterate over the iterate over dot each key value on the frequencies. So frequencies dot each. And what we're gonna do because it needs to go through it, and then we'll say uh, I think we did uh, name common number. Amount might be more accurate, name common amount. And then it asks us to Put name plus, and then we need a space, and then we're gonna put uh, amount, and then we need to end it, and that should work. All right, line eleven.
Let's see what it does right now. Oh, apparently it was already here. That's weird. I'm not quite sure what happened there. As I saw, it's throwing me off. It's, this looks quite similar to what we were trying to do there. All right, so we did it. This is our new histogram. And you can see here, Dylan, C, 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 cool. Cool. Um, I'm still a little bit confused by this section. I might go back and just review it a little bit. I've never been too good with hashes. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Let's see what the next section is. Method blocks and sorting. Why method? Um, basically what we've been writing this whole time is one method for the most part. Um, or a function depending on what language you're writing in. Um, so eventually we will, like you can see here, where this is uh, basically our code. But uh, if we needed to call our code instead of rewriting it, it would take, in this case, a parameter n, for instance, 2, and then would run the code with that 2 filling its need. So um, this is basically where programming becomes programming to a degree. Once you get, we kind of got through all the backtracking and all the, uh, like, what you need to know before you start to actually be able to write your own code. So that's kind of cool. So we're on our way in Ruby, and uh, next section is methods, blocks, and sorting.